Alright, so this is recorded after I already beat Genova. It's not going to be live commentary, the boss battle, but I am going to commentate over it in post commentary. The reason why it wasn't live commentary is because I was busy testing different methods for how to efficiently kill Genova. But the issue was some material I don't really have maxed out yet and it makes some methods not as efficient as I would like them to be. So this is the method I came up with for now. Fire material linked up with HP absorption for cloud, luck up, luck up. ATB stagger, steadfast block, HP up, binding material. For Tifa time, magnify linked up, parry, ATB assist, deadly dodge, HP up, first strike, and fire linked up with elemental on the armor slot. This is unfortunately only level 2 so I don't get healed, but oh well. Aerith poison linked up with HP absorption. This is another material that I really need to master. Once I beat the game, mastery material won't be a problem. MP up, magic up, magic up. Subversion, MP up. First strike, ATB boost. So the method that I came up to work with is to pretty much work with Aerith the most to cast Bioga. Since she's going to be getting her ATB up the fastest because I'll be playing with her a lot, I'll also be using her to breach. And then Cloud and Tifa are pretty much going to be trying to go crazy with melee. So I'll show you the equipment setup. Hard Edge, Chain Bangle, Supernatural Risk Cards for Cloud. Tifa Metal Knuckles, Forest Bracelet, Protective Boots. This will make me immune to slow and stop. The boss doesn't really use slow, but it does use stop. And stop is easily avoidable, but the problem with stop is that it follows you around the battlefield, which can make pressuring the boss really annoying because you have to uh, avoid the stop that's following you all the time. To make it easier, I just put Protective Boots on, that way I don't have to worry about it at all. Aerith, Mythal Rot, Forest Bracelet, and again, Protective Boots. So Cloud is the only one without Protective Boots. He's gonna have Supernatural Risk Guards on. Battle settings for Cloud, unfortunately I didn't have Fire... I was supposed to have Fire Go on there, but I didn't have it, I guess. Battle settings for Tifa, and Battle settings for Aerith. So in the tentacle phase that the boss has, he spawns tentacles. You have to kill the tentacles and I was originally going to use big bomber because it only takes I think like two to three big bombers to stagger the boss so that way you don't have to go through another tentacle round. But then I changed my mind during the actual run and I tried a different method to see if it would work first over big bomber. And it did kind of work out but I wasn't uh, but my strategy wasn't really that efficient because I was still testing methods. But I figured I would just go with the, that video anyway. And now the boss fight. Help me! Well, well, well. Pull me up! Uh, I'll give you all the money you want! I have killed plenty of it! <laughs> Thing is, I don't want your money. Please... Just let me live. Everything you want can be yours. I'm a man of modest dreams. Dropping you from 70 stories up would get me damn near to good. But not all the way. You want something more, don't you? More than this right here? Talk to me again like you know me. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna get on TV and tell them. Tell them what you did to Sector 7. That it was you who killed all those people. Then, you're gonna tell them the truth about Avalanche. That Avalanche ain't Wu Tai or anybody's puppet. That Avalanche fights for the people, the planet. That we fight to hold Shinra to account for its crimes. That is Avalanche. The filthy sewer rats who brought down a Goliath. You tell him that. Is that really all you want? For your names to be cleared? <laughs> that is what matters most to you? More than shutting down the reactors? Than the future of the planet itself? Huh? Damn. You're lying to yourself even now. Truth, justice, honor, freedom. Vain indulgences everyone. Picture it. Picture a world without Shinra. 
Without Mako energy. A stagnant, impotent world. Now picture a natural disaster. Who would help the people? Help them recover and rebuild? You? With their old world ruined, will they thank you for the new? I'm going to give you a chance. One last opportunity to consider what your principles are truly worth. But bear in mind that time is of the essence. And what about you, Mr. President? What are your vaunted principles? What principles? Did you understand even a single word of what I told you? I know what I want, and I take it. I take advantage of whatever I can, and discard that which I cannot. There is no room for sentiment or guilt. Okay, so this is post game commentary here. As you've seen, I just did a jump with Punishable and cast Haze with Tifa. That's how I started off this battle. And then I go for the other tentacle here, and right now I'm just trying to pressure the boss. So break the tentacles, and this is gonna pressure the boss as you keep attacking with Punishable. And now I'm just using my pressure abilities to quickly try and stagger him. It didn't really work out, but it came pretty close to it. Alright, so what do I do at this point? Bioga right away. I think- oh, I already had my ward up, holy shit. Okay. So I had my ward up with Aerith and I cast in Bioga. So this is going to do massive non-elemental damage, as well as poison the boss. And you want the boss poison because you're doing over 100 plus damage every second. Since the boss has a lot of HP. So, at this point I think I'm just trying to think of what I want to do for this method. So that's why I was kind of flipping around with my aim with my spells there. And what I did was I ended up getting my ATV gauge up and casting Breach to break his reflect. And now we got him pressured again because we broke his tentacles. So now I'm just using my pressure abilities again. And okay, another Bioga with Aerith here. Okay, so he's gonna put his reflect back on in a second here. But I think what I do next is I put the boss to sleep. Nope, he has. No, I'm gonna break. I think I go to Aerith. I, or maybe not. I know what I do. I am about to go to Aerith soon though. Because I have to get her ATV gauge up. Okay, so here comes the next phase. This is the annoying tentacle phase here. So it's my turn. So what I'm gonna do here is attack with Cloud with Punisher mode and use his triple slash to quickly try and slice through these tentacles. No. 
Now this is the first part of the, of the tentacle phase. There's actually a, once you kill these ones, more of them pop up. And so there's another phase for it that we have to go through, which is these ones here. And if you don't kill the boss fast enough, you'll actually have to do this all over again. So watch this video to see how I stagger the boss. So you don't have to keep doing this over and over and over. Right now I'm just trying to deal with these stupid tentacles as fast as I can. By using a combination of Punisher mode and Triple Slash. So as you can see I have Tifa and Aerith. ATV gauge full, that's important. I want to keep them. I want to keep their ATV gauge full. Alright, triple slash here. Because there's a lot of tentacles. Okay, here we go. Now we want to cast a breach, so I'm going to be doing this with. No, do I cast it with there? Yes, I do. See, at this point here, you actually can cast Big Bomber, and two, two or three Big Bombers will stagger the boss. But what I did was, I tried a different method instead just to see how this would play out. So I breached the boss and then I casted a Fire Aga with, I think Cloud and Tifa both of them. Yeah, you need two people to do this because it's not going to... No, I tried to put him to sleep to see if it would work, but it didn't work. That was just a test, by the way. But yeah, it didn't work out. It does work though, but uh, when the boss is like this, it doesn't work. It's, there's no effect for it. So there you go, I had Tifa and uh, Cloud both cast Fire Aga, and it has to be both of them, because one is strong enough to stagger him. So you can either do that, or you can uh, use Big Bomber. If you decide to use Big Bomber, you won't even have to breach the boss, because Big Bomber will attack right through the Reflect. And Big Bomber I think does like around 500 to 1000 damage. So this is the phase I never really had much practice with, was the tentacle phase in this phase I never practiced very much on. I just kind of... I just kind of uh, shot shit at it and just try to kill it. So there's the Bioga. And this was a mistake because the boss is about to cast Reflect. So he actually reflected my fire I got right there. But I have so much HP still that I didn't really care. Yeah, right now I'm just trying to pressure the boss because he's pressured. I'm trying to stagger it. I actually could have finished the boss here. If I switched to Aerith and breached him, I think I could have finished it off really fast. But yeah, the boss teleports and then I finish it off now. Let's finish this. Death was not the one ordained for you by fate. Uh. Uh. 
Thanks. <laughs> 